Hey, this is Zach Smith. I'm the station manager and founder of KUHS LP Hot Springs, Arkansas. I'm here to talk about our station, Arkansas's only all-volunteer run, solar-powered community radio station, here on Mashable.com. You scan the dial and you come upon KUHS, you're going to hear something that you're not going to hear anywhere else. And that is the stand that we are able to take. And, you know, I certainly think that our financial situation gives us that freedom. As you drive into Hot Springs, uh, you sort of come around this curve and about four miles away, you can see the top of the mountain with all the radio towers on it, including KUHS right on the very end. And for me, it's always a symbol of of my place in the world and my town and the place that I really love and the community that, that I really value and that I want to benefit and that I think benefits a, a lot of people around it. So it, it's, it's huge for me. When we first were drawing up the technical plans for the radio station, we had access to this site, and it's up on a hill. It's an old AT&T microwave relay shack, and they had pulled the power, and we did the math on reconnecting the power and putting in a transmitter, and then we did the math on covering the building with solar panels, and we realized that in about three years, it'd be cheaper to have solar than paying that bill every month. There's no up. station in town no. where, where it's, everybody's talking and everybody's reading dumb stuff off the internet. All right, right. We want to we want, we want a party up. to pump you up We're gonna pump you up every day. Every day. People really saw that we were in it for the long term and that we were in it for emergencies, that we're in it for um, the environment, we're in it for our community. And it really helped them rally behind, you know, the, the mask, so to speak, and, and come to our aid. And it really made people realize the scope of our power, you know, that we're, we're literally, you know, a, a conversion process from sunlight into music, you know, it's, it's great. Hi, I'm Bob Nagy. I'm a RF communications engineer, and uh, my passion is building small community stations that are run on solar power. The brain is talking, program debug, remote telemetry functional with a spec and Z board there from Canada. Oh yeah. I uh, built KUHS along with Zach Smith and other people, you know, with hammers and everything else, uh, to do that in our community of about 50,000. Setting up broadcast facilities like this on solar power are extremely simple. It's an extremely simple project to do, and it's not expensive whatsoever. I probably have the equipment to build five of them in my garage and room here. There's just not a lot of components to them. So there's only like two constants, two numbers you have to remember. Whatever the total power usage is for the month, multiply by seven. That's the total amount of wattage and solar panels you need. Whatever the current output of the solar panels is, multiply that by 20 for the amount of amp hours and batteries you need. There's the whole thing, okay? And it's just panels, charge controller, batteries, and bingo, you're on the air. So our installation there on the mountain here on West Mountain has been going for roughly six years with absolutely no electricity connected to the building. I can tell you right offhand that four solar panels would run a 10 watt radio transmitter 24 seven and you know for 40 years and the cost of solar panels pv even 16 17 percent efficiency solar panels it's now the cheapest energy form it beats coal it's a no-brainer but because solar is so profitable i retired at 47 because i built a solar house and because i cashed in and sold it in austin in 90 minutes for over asking and came to hot springs and you know i've been retired for 18 years so solar is extremely profitable and pays off and bought my freedom and it will buy everyone else's freedom too. It's a huge symbol of what I've been able to do in this town. You know, uh, when I moved here with my wife, we were traveling musicians. And um, we spent many years playing music and traveling around the region. And that was very fulfilling, especially when we had young kids and we could like 
throw everybody in the station wagon and drive around America and call it a tour. But of course, you know, then the kids get more expensive. We weren't writing new songs anymore and we needed to do something else. And so getting this radio station started, it being the foundation for what we did with this piece of real estate, it has helped me, you know, drive the stake into, into this place. We had a kid and I mean, a a literal minor. I've known this kid his entire life. All of a sudden, here he is. He's 17. He wants to put on a comedy show. We, we take this kid, we put him in the studio, and we're like, have at it. Nothing obscene, but you can cuss now. And um, just, just that freedom for him to come in and his buddies to come in and, and play songs that they find are funny, play snippets of stand-up, to make jokes, and, you know, they can say fuck on air if they, if they want to. It gives them a place to take a stand and say, hey, no one's really harmed by someone saying shit on the air. We can support this. <laughs> 